Hello everybody and today we have brought the new Tsfong M10 Max dash cam. So we have our box right over here. Now this also comes with two other packaging which one is an SD card and the other is a card DVR power box which you can buy optionally. And inside of the box, we first take a look at the thank you card. Now, another thing is the user manual. Then we have our dash cam. Now, let's open it up from its packaging. And boom, we have our dash cam. Now, it looks pretty awesome. And here is the front main lens. And here is the in-car cabin cameras, which you can turn individually to your preference and then up on top there is the screen with the buttons as well now if we take a look at the top you can see there's the power sd card slot and a slot for the back camera to plug in now here's the front camera and you can see it is adjustable as well and here you can see it is a nice ultra wide lens it also has gps built into it and you can also see the inside cameras and the infrared lights on around it. Pretty awesome. Now let's set that aside and take a look inside of the box. So we can see our first packaging is the car charging cable, which powers the dash cam. So you can see it has a type C head. And here is the another end which plugs into the cigarette lighter and it also has a USB on top so that you can use any other accessories as well. The other packaging includes the back camera with its jack which goes into the dash cam. And here is another adapter that goes between it and there is the back camera. Now one thing to note is that this camera can only be mounted inside of the car. And you also have adhesive strips to mount it easily. Now lastly, we have a suction cup, so if you don't want to use adhesive to mount your main dash cam, you can use the suction cup just like this. But I recommend to use the adhesive because that is more strong and more durable than the suction cup, but that's just my preference, it really depends on you. But a pretty awesome feature that the company includes two ways to mount your dash cam. And here underneath, I also found a free gift. And these, I don't know what they are. So if you guys know, just comment down below of what they are. And we have some more. So we actually have three of them. And here we have wipes to like clean this glass surface to better mount. And here we have some extra adhesives. And we have a wire holding clamp as well so that you don't have dangling wires. So we actually have like a couple of them and we have the USB-C cable and we have a prying tool as well so that you can tuck in the wires inside your car and we have a USB SD card reader as well so pretty awesome and more we have some more adhesive the clamps and this right over here is a filter an ND filter so basically you just need to mount it onto your camera for like better lighting in sun so basically you will have less exposure on your videos while mounting this on so this is great when you have a very bright sun in ahead of you so pretty awesome now let's take a look at the car dvr box and here we have the packaging now let's open it up so what this basically is is that you have a radar sensor over here so basically what it does is that it keeps your dash cam on 24 hours and how is you can take these wires and plug it into the fuse box on your car and basically the dash cam will be powered on 24 hours here we have a 128 gigabyte sd card from lexar so this is also included in the package and this is a high quality SD card so you just need to plug this in into your dash cam and your dash cam will be ready to go so no need to buy another SD card the company already provides it 
Now let's install it in our car. So we have our Tesla Model Y over here. And now let's install it. So let's take the camera right over here. And I'm going to be mounting it in the middle for like the best view. And again, it's your preference to wherever you want to install it. Here is the adapter. So now let's put it inside of our serial lighter just like this. And again, you can plug in any other accessory in the USB as well. Now I have fed through the wire into the covers to minimize hanging wires. And now let's plug it in to our dash cam. And boom, we have our welcome sign right here. So it looks pretty awesome in our car. Now you can rotate the cameras individually to your preference, whether it be horizontal, vertical, left or right. So that it captures cars left and right blind spots. Now I have put one facing in the center and the other in the side angle. And here is the front camera with the ND filters on. And it looks pretty awesome. Nice job Tease Fong for making a great camera. And it captures in car cabin audio. And this has a 360 degree view. So this is perfect for rideshare taxi drivers. And right over here is where I'm going to put the camera. So I have just placed it right over here with the glue adhesive on it. And boom, it is ready to go. Just like this, pretty awesome. Now close the trunk and let's view the clips of the dash cam. So here is the front camera angle in daytime. And it looks pretty awesome. Also comment down below what city I am living in. I would love to hear all the answers from you guys. And now here is the nighttime view of the front camera. And you can see the sharpness and the colors and everything is pretty nice on this camera. So it is pretty accurate. Now here is another angle of the city with this camera and you can see all the vibrant colors and everything. And now here is the back camera which is also daytime. You can see the clouds, the sky, everything is looking so good. This is a very nice dash cam. And here is the night view of the back camera. Which again, the colors are looking pretty awesome. And here is the inside view of the dash cam in daytime. And here it is in nighttime. Now I've also used the side view camera as well to look at the road and it looks pretty awesome. You can see the road, the buildings, everything. It looks awesome. This is one of the things I like this dash cam because you can move around the cameras so that you can view the side camera or the inside camera or anywhere you want. So it is pretty versatile. Now I've actually taken this in a car wash as well so we can see the beautiful color so you can see the purple the red orange so the color accuracy on this is pretty awesome now let's download the app so that we can use the wi-fi function so you just need to scan this qr code inside of the manual and here is the app ts cam now let's just press get and install it boom it has been installed now let's open it and go to home page allow and then on your dash cam go to the wi-fi function found in settings and turn that on 
And now let's move our way back to the app, go to your Wi-Fi in your phone setting, and then choose the Dashcam's Wi-Fi, which is, which is TS-Cam, and then enter the password, which is 1 through 8. And just like this, it will be connected in seconds. Now you just need to go back to the app and it will be automatically paired. You just need to press connect DVR and boom, you have the live view on your phone. Now you can also with the press of this button, you can view all four camera angles. Then more into the app, you can also start and stop your recording with the press of this button. And then you can also take screenshots as well. Now over here, you can view your SD card footage from the camera. So basically, you're just viewing the SD card footage like you plug the SD card into your computer. So pretty awesome. And it has a nice clear view from your phone. So I give this a 5 star. This dash cam is out of this world. Pretty awesome. You can also edit the clip from the app as well. And you can also full screen the live view. So this is pretty awesome. You can also have the functions of start, stop, and screenshot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to my channel. And you can find more information about this product in the description box below. So I'll see you guys next time with another awesome video. See ya!